there is no time. 50 percent EVPAT you have to count. They said no. Then we went to Supreme Court. Now instead of one, they have given only five. Even five for each assembly segment, it is not sufficient. Election Commission is saying it is not possible to count because it is time consuming. It is taking six days. I am challenging them how it will take six days. Earlier there is a ballot paper. That ballot paper, all ballot boxes, they used to count 12 hours, 18 hours, maximum 24 hours within a day. Now these people are saying six hours. It is very simple process. We will pad, there will be slip for each person, their own choice, then name under that symbol. You can segregate within no time, and you can count same words within very short time, half an hour, 45 minutes. They, they have given this type of reply to Supreme Court. It is only misleading the Supreme Court. We are very clear, election commission is an autonomous body. Under the same time, they are working in the instructions of Modi and also government of India. It is very bad for the country. So I am very clear. I want to explain all these things. What happened in Andhra Pradesh? All unjustifiable transfers. Even before elections notification, they have transferred one of our collectors. After that, two SPs they have transferred. One SP is concerned Karpa district, where YSR Congress Party president came from the place. His uncle, his father's brother was killed brutally, and they wanted to create, it is only art failure, then post-mortem took place, it has been established, it is a clear-cut murder. Then they want to avoid all these things, damage control, then ultimately, through election commission, investigating officer, that SP is transferred. How can they justify? When murder took place, immediately an officer, Superintendent of Police is transferred. How can they justify? They have to answer. There is no answer from Election Commission on that. And also, they have transferred our DG intelligence. I am asking what IB is doing, what Cabinet Secretary is doing, what NSA is doing. They are also doing politics. Why you are not uh, transferring IB chief? Can you take answer for this? Is it equal level playing field? There is no answer for that. Even if you see here, all state government powers, even ultimately, chief secretary has been transferred. One of the most effective, most honest, and integration integrity officer, one Mr. Punita was transferred. And also, the chief secretary, where they have nominated, there is no answer, go accused of ISR Congress. Party president. Along with Jagan Mohan Reddy, he was co accused. That person was nominated as chief secretary. How things are happening, one has to understand. Even this case is pending before the Supreme Court. All cases, small, wherever there are some things, exaggeration, Sakshi TV, Sakshi paper, they are covering all these things. Election Commission is taking cognizance, they are transferring. CEO office or Delhi office has becoming tool for them to transfer. One example I am giving you. One day, one Cherala candidate, he announced that by evening this SP will be transferred. Same day evening he was transferred. That means all is a, a he, had, he is having so many criminal cases against him. The election commission is treating 31 cases, either criminal, corruption cases are against Jagan Mohan Reddy. No case against me. Election commission is treating all political parties, all leaders equally. And also if you see here, one Mr. K. K. Sharma, he is the observer. He went to West Bengal, their CPM, and Trinamal Congress opposed, then he sent it to Andhra Pradesh. He is having connections with RSS. This is where we objected totally, but no action has been taken by Election Commission. Even here, if you see, large-scale deletion of voters, 
In Telangana, 25 lakh voters have been deleted. At that time, they went to court. No relief. Because they are having a immune. Because election committee is the independent authority. Ultimately, after election, the CEO said sorry. Is it fair way of sorry? Democracy is murdered. Leisurely were saying, I'm sorry, something has happened. It is not in my control. Even in Andhra Pradesh, around 7.5 lakh voters, they want to leave. They came here, they complained against Telugu Desam. In the process, they started deleting voters by using seven form, form 7A. Immediately, we got a sit, special investigation team to probe all these things. Then, election commission is not cooperating with us for giving IP address. There in Telangana, you have deleted, you supported. In Andhra, they attempted, we have controlled them, we won't take action, you are not supporting. This type of one-side action is very unfair and also very bad against it. And also, if you see, all Telugu Desa party complaints, either candidates or party, no action has been taken. I have given detailed enclosure. In the process, as of today, election commission has lost credibility among people. They are supporting all painted, painted ministers or political parties, and ultimately, they are in a bad look of the nation. Yesterday, Yesterday, we have done one thing, if you see here, they have given inadequate force. Morning hours, nation is aware of that. In Andhra Pradesh, so many EVMs are not sufficient. There is a total chaos. People are saying, people are projecting 30% of EVMs are not coming. Then slowly, some of the EVMs are coming. Last EVM, they have erected nearly one million. They have given only six hours time. Last vote, they have voted early morning, 6.30 a.m. to 4 a.m. Is it fair democracy? Voters are not beggars. They are respectable citizens of this country. Election commission, if it is delayed, then they should have gone urgent polling. After six, they should have given assurance, tomorrow we'll have a polling, that they didn't do that. And ultimately, with children, women, old people, they came, they stand by queue. 5.30 a.m., they stand by queue. 10 hours, they stood on the queue. That is the commitment they are having. It is very, very bad situation. We are feeling very bad. I complain to CEC. I complain to CEO. No action has been taken. This is a, they have lost vote to life. What is the reaction? After that, I asked him very clearly, because of all these actions, election commission, YSR Congress is attacking all our leaders. One person was killed in Tadipat. So many attacks. Speaker was attacked. Some of our candidates were attacked. Even women candidates were attacked. No action has been taken by election commission. They wanted to create chaos. They want to create law and order. Ultimately, they want to capture votes. That is their aim. But ultimately, we have protected all these things. Today, even citizens, respectable citizens, they are unable to give any protection for them. Ultimately, EVMs and also VVPACs. Today, if you see, we ask them very clearly. So many EVMs, why they have failed? What is the reason? You have to explain. They are unable to explain all these things. Even there is a suspicion of VV bet also. Even both what we are asking, transparency. All over the world, electronic voting machine nobody is using. Everybody is using only paper ballot. We are asking them to go for paper ballot. They are adamant. And at the same time, at least 50 percent of EV pads they have to count. That also they are not listening. What is the secret? What is the motive behind? All these things when we challenge with him, election commission, 
they are saying today, no, no, we will answer everything. We will attempt to it. What all you said, we will go to go through all these things. Ultimately, we will do justice. What is the justice is going to do? I must be very clear. There is no answer. In Tamil Nadu, there is a DG. He was tainted. One Mr. Rajendra was transferred to the system by election. Again, they have posted him as direct DG <coughs> in Tamil Nadu. Recently, they didn't remove him. Some other person, one name by Sukla, was posted DG for election. There you didn't change tainted DG. You posted some other person as DG elections because I am claiming all these things. I am attacking. In Andhra Pradesh, CS you have transferred without the, taking the panel of the state government. SPC you have transferred without taking the panel from state government. Where is the justice? Where is the level playing field? I am asking election commission. They may have powers, but they cannot misuse powers. Is it the way of fair play? And at the same time, is it the way of conducting elections in this country? I have faced so many elections for the last 40 years. I know paper bag. I know VV bag. We fought for VV bag. Earlier, EVM can be manageable. That's why we brought EV bag now. All these things today, it is doubtful. Integrity and also misuse, we are doubting very much. Now election commission is saying, no, no, we will take care of all these things. But they have failed miserably. Our fight will continue further. Recently, 22 political parties went to court. In court, they have given us five ballot boxes. They will count each assembly segment. We are demanding 50%. If these five ballot boxes are found some manipulation, immediately they have to order total counting of all VV bags, all ballot boxes, they have to de declare results. No discretion for the returning officer. Whenever there is a demand, they have to honor. It will take another three hours, four hours. But democracy, we have to protect, we have to save democracy. That's why I, I came here. Today and tomorrow I will be here. I will meet all political parties. All political parties will explain. We will work together till we achieve transparency in election process. They cannot go as they are Even our demand, 618 booths. There, urgent poll. Urgent poll is nothing but whenever there is a two hours lapse, then they have to order urgent poll. Remaining voters will come and vote. It is a fundamental right. It is a minimum courtesy election, election commission has to do that. Again, why so many EVMs are dysfunctioning or malfunctioning? What is the reason? They have to inquire all these things. Is there any manipulation? Managing by somebody? Or who is responsible for all these failures? They have to answer. And also Form 7A. Immediately they have to give IP address. So that state government can initiate prosecution and also action on that. Ultimately, VVPAT, Today, we have to do 50% counting. It is, it is not banned. Supreme Court also said very clearly, it is left to election commission. Only five posts, they agreed. There we are asking to give 50% counting so that transparency will be established. Then people have some confidence. Hi, this is Siddhi Idnani and please do subscribe to New Waves.